Well, students and faculty from Tennessee Tech University School of Agriculture recently spent a week abroad performing research and volunteer activities in Scotland. Dr. Dennis Duncan, ag education professor and student Sheridan Roberts were on that trip. They join us now for an update. Dr. Duncan and also Sheridan, thank you so much for taking the time. This sounds like a trip of a lifetime. I'm going to start with you, Dr. Duncan. Can you tell us what the purpose of this study was, studying abroad in Scotland? Yes, we, uh, we started a 15-week program at Tennessee Tech, and the main focus of this year's program was food insecurity. So we challenged the students the first week of the semester to identify both local and global issues surrounding food insecurity. And so we chose Scotland because we've done work in Scotland in the past. And so during this entire 15-week semester course, which will conclude next week, we uh, have worked on both local and global projects. And our global project was in Dumfries, Scotland. And wow. we worked with a local food uh, network and an organization that provides many services to those in need. Wow. It sounds like an, an incredible work that's being done. Uh, Sheridan, I have to ask you, I'm assuming this was your first trip over there. Well, tell us about your experience. I would love to. Um, this actually was my first trip to Scotland, and it was my first time out of the country at all. So um, I definitely tried to soak up every moment of it. Uh, we definitely did some touristy things while we were over there. So we got to visit the coast, which was really awesome. Uh, we got to tour a castle, and we toured the University of Glasgow, which was uh, incredible. I think it's the third oldest university in Scotland. So um, that was really awesome. Uh, so that was the touristy things were definitely enjoyable. But uh, like Dr. Duncan said, we went over there with a mission. And so the bulk of our time was spent volunteering in Dumfries. Um, and so two of our biggest projects were uh, we got to volunteer at Summerhill Community Center, um, which is a community center that supports food insecure populations. So we actually got to spend an entire day there uh, preparing and serving a meal, which was um, a super rich experience I'll never forget. Um, and then the other big project that we spent a lot of time doing was at St. Andrew's Primary School, where we did sort of an outdoor cleanup project um, for their, they call it their outdoor classroom. And so um, I know one of the other students with us, Will Massey, he built a little tree house on the ground for them just out of pallets, which is all they had. And so getting to see the teachers and the students get so excited about using their new outdoor classroom was something I'll never forget. You know, it, it seems so rewarding. And a lot of people sometimes when they do work like this and help others, they always say, well, I, I'm glad to help others. But I always feel like they take away more than the people they're helping. So for you, Sheridan, what did you gain from this trip that you think is going to really kind of put into play in, in your future? Yes, um, I would absolutely agree with that. I, did, I feel like I took away so much more than I was able to leave there. Um, I, I think the biggest thing that I took away was just a different perspective on volunteerism and community service. Um, I think one of the things that we consistently said as a group was that um, these people that we got to talk to and spend time with in Dumfries, you know, they were kind of volunteering and giving out of the kindness of their heart and um, not that we don't have people like that here, but it seems like, you know, locally people seem to need an incentive to want to give back and volunteer in the community. And so I think what we realized is that even though we went across the pond to do this work and it was an incredible experience and I'll, I'll never forget it, you know, we don't have to go that far to, to be able to make a difference. We can do it right here. And so that's definitely something that I'm going to carry carry with me through the rest of my career. I'm, I'm definitely interested in nonprofit work and volunteerism um, as part of my career, so. Wow, that is tremendous. What an impact that you are making, and it sounds like you're going to make in this future. We are happy to have you. Thank you so much. Dr. Duncan, before I let you go, what's next for students who attended this trip? Any other agricultural-based trips like this? Yeah, we do. Uh, we'll, we'll bring this course to a conclusion next week. And as, as Sheridan mentioned, our local projects was done uh, at one of our local churches in Cookville, again, working with volunteers about giving back to those in need. And so our next, we're looking at our next trip is, is possibly in the Dumfries region again, but working with the Scottish Rural Agricultural College, 
uh, which is just north of Dumfries, Scotland. And then we'll, we hope to, in the future as well, continue our relationship with uh, Summerhill Community Center. So a lot of a lot of options for us, and we're excited about continuing our work in Scotland. Yeah, absolutely exciting. Wow, what a great opportunity for the students as well, and just great work that benefits so many. Thank you so much. Ag education professor at Tennessee Tech University, Dr. Dennis Duncan, a pleasure, and student Sheridan Roberts. Sheridan, thank you so much. Just a great job.